Gus here. And uh, as you guys know, there's a big heated debate about the gun control thing. Um, due to the, the tragic events that happened in Connecticut. Now, uh, there's been lots of heated debates and, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's the, the anti-forces are coming up with new laws uh, that we all know if you're a Second Amendment, if you're pro-Second Amendment, that they're just not going to work. They're feel-good laws and they're not going to do anything to stop anything. Um, they want to ban the sale of semi-automatic rifles, which falls into the same class as uh, AR-15s, AKs. But uh, they're also not thinking, and you gotta understand, the, the people that are writing these laws, some of them probably never even fired a gun in their life, they don't know guns' names, they just know this one black evil gun, the AR-15. Uh, I saw something last night on ABC News, which was kind of in our favor. Um, they kind of maybe uh, step on their own toes when they show the statistics of the M16, which is banned for sale. It's only used for military. And they show that you pull the trigger and it shoots automatically. They say, this is already banned here. And then they show the AR-15 and they, they show this being shot one bullet at a time. And it's, it's legal for sale because it doesn't have the full auto capability. Um, but yet we had Piers Morgan yesterday saying that they can shoot four to six bullets a second. I don't know how people can pull the trigger four to six times in a second. Maybe two shots in a second, but that is a ridiculous rate of fire. And they explained that on ABC News yesterday, and I was kind of happy that they did that. Um, the second thing is, I, was, I just came up with an idea. I don't know if it's fanatical. I don't want to sound like a, a retard or someone crazy. Just a thought. Just a thought. We have a political process in this country, a peaceful political process most of the times, and I believe we should follow suit with that. You know, back in the 90s, some of you may remember, some of you might not, we had the Million Man March. And this was to uh, promote equality amongst all men. It, uh, it was, it was uh, you know, um, the, the, certain things had happened uh, that, that led to this to happen. And then we also had the Million Moms Against Guns uh, march. And, you know, of course we had uh, Rosie O'Donnell, who was a hypocrite, uh, saying that we need to take guns off the street. And then the next day after that whole march thing, her personal security guard put in for his full carry permit. <laughs> and and you got to say, wow, you know, if you're nuts, if you feel so safe, Rosie... You know, why does your security guard need to carry a gun? Why not just some mace or some pepper spray? So, the idea that I came up with was the Million Gun Owners March. Now, it may sound nuts, but think about it. Things happened when people marched onto the, the steps of the White House in D.C. So, maybe a Million Gun Owners March would be a good idea. Uh, definitely... <laughs> I'm not saying that we should go there armed or nothing like that. That'd be a very bad idea and it wouldn't look very good for us. But to peacefully assemble and to let our voices be heard. Now, I was also listening to something. I was driving the car and uh, Governor Cuomo wants to tighten up gun laws in New York. Which you guys know New York is super tight as is. Um, we can't have uh, collapsible stocks or... Um, muzzle brakes or flash hiders or bayonet lugs because people run around using bayonets and a flash hider and a, a collapsible stock make the gun more dangerous, you know, because God forbid I need to adjust the length of pull on my rifle. And of course, we're not allowed to have anything, uh, any magazines over 10 shots unless they're pre ban which there are a lot of, a lot of pre ban stuff. I have pre ban mags. It's totally, totally legal to have. Uh... <clears throat> They want to limit the amount of uh, cartridges, bullets, uh, that a rifle can hold down to seven. So I guess my little Ruger 10.22 that I have uh, holds ten rounds in a little box magazine this big. Uh, I guess that's going to be an assault weapon, which is ridiculous. I mean, it is just fucking stupid. The, what they're doing is is just retarded. They're not coming up with anything comprehensive at all. I mean, they're just getting ridiculous with it. They're, they're running with it 
and they're, they're, they're stepping on the backs of these people who have passed away and the children who have passed away and they're using this to push a retarded agenda instead of maybe tightening up the laws on people who aren't supposed to have guns uh, instead of this plea bargaining bullshit. Okay, if you plead guilty to this, you'll only get five years instead of the 15 that you were supposed to get for not having something. Enforce the laws that you have on the books already. What you're doing is constricting lawful people to what they can and cannot have. And then when you do these laws, when you pass these laws, and another mass murder happens, the blood is going to be on your hands. So, guys, if you, uh, if you think it's a good idea, um, I'm going to try to get a couple people on board with this. Maybe it is crazy. I don't know. It's just an idea. It's just a thought. But if we get enough people to do this and enough people to assemble with the YouTube community and uh, uh, other people who are involved in uh, shooting sports or just uh, supporters of the Second Amendment, I think this could be a very good idea. Uh, we can do this peacefully, of course, and we can have our voices be heard that, you know, I, I always say this in a few of my videos, you know, like I said, most of us are law-abiding citizens, we're good people, we, we go to work every day, we have girlfriends, we have wives, families, kids, cousins, nephews, you know, we're not going out there with our rifles and shooting people, we go to the range, we do it the right way, you know, and, and maybe we could also help promote, you know, uh, safe gun storage and gun safety, you know, stuff like that should be promoted, I, you know, it's, it's not a bad idea, it's not anything that's going to constrict us, because I believe, you know, nobody who owns a gun, nobody who's smart who owns a gun is going to play around with it like it's a toy, you know, we're going to be safe about it, store it, we, we all follow the law, and we shouldn't be punished because of some goddamn psychopath that, you know, there's a special place for Helen, for him, uh, we shouldn't be punished because of that. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, leave your comments, uh, if you like the idea, uh, just let me know what you think, if you got an idea of your own, uh, write it down, PM me, until next time, guys, later.